From turn on to a latte macchiato in two minutes, a single button press for a cappuccino, high pressure brewing for espresso, and low pressure brewing for single serve American style drip coffee. It does it from fresh ground whole bean coffee and real milk. It's just eight inches wide, and did we mention it makes it easy to switch out coffee with two bean hoppers? Hey coffee lovers, Mark and Morgan here from WholeLatteLove.com with an in-depth look at the Seiko Grand Barista. It's a one-touch super automatic machine for espresso, milk-based drinks like lattes and cappuccinos, and single-serve drip-style coffee. Drip style coffee is the Grand Barista's unique feature. It's a Veripresso brewing system switches between high pressure nine bar brewing for extracting espresso and low pressure brewing for producing a drip style coffee. If you're in a situation where you've got a machine for espresso and maybe a drip brewer or single serve capsule machine, then you will want to give a look at the Grand Barista. It's just eight inches wide and let me tell you, the coffee it makes is way better than what you get out of a plastic cup loaded with pre-ground. Today we've got the high-end model of the Grand Baristo. It's the HD8966 in steel black. And if you're interested, you can check out our earlier video review of the lower-end model using the link right up here. Internally, both versions are essentially identical. What's different are the chrome accents, some metal on the exterior, and the big one, an additional bean hopper. With the second hopper, it's easy to switch out beans. So if you have a couple of favorite coffees or you want to put in some decaf or even use one type of beans for regular coffee and another for espresso, it's no problem. Right, just slide the bar and a door closes in the chute so no beans spill. Then press on your other hopper. Before you slide the bar back to open the chute door, you can run a coffee emptying cycle and grind up any of the beans left in the grinder from the previous hopper. And speaking of the grinder, it uses high quality ceramic burrs with five adjustable grind settings for better flavor. For milk based drinks like lattes and caps, the machine uses a detachable milk carafe. Now all parts of the carafe are dishwasher safe for easy cleaning. And something we really like, the spouts for both coffee and the milk carafe have a lot of clearance. There's six inches of clearance, so if a morning latte on your way out the door is your thing, most travel mugs will fit. Of course, a latte is just the start. On the left side of the machine are one-touch buttons for milk-based drinks. You've got espresso macchiato, cappuccino, latte macchiato, and plain hot milk. On the other side, one-touch buttons for espresso, cafe creme, long coffee, and American coffee. Every drink is user programmable for strength, amount, temperature, and taste. Amounts are programmed in milliliters, and taste refers to pre-infusion, which wets the coffee prior to brewing for a richer extraction. On the milk-based drinks, the amount of milk is determined by time. But this is a multi-user machine, so you can set up up to five additional users, and each of them can program all the drinks just the way they like them. It's easy to switch users, just use the arrow keys, then all the one-touch buttons will use that user's settings. In addition to those drinks, the cup with the star button brings up a list of special beverages, including hot water, ristretto, a couple levels of espresso, energy coffee, and the popular flat white. These drinks are programmable as well. With each drink having six strength settings and three for flavor and temperature, you can really dial in the drink exactly as you like it. And if programming with a menu isn't your thing, all drink volumes can be programmed using a press and hold method. In most cases, you just press and hold on the button of the drink you want to program. When you have the amount of espresso, coffee, or milk you want, just press again and that volume will be stored. As far as temperature of the coffee and milk, in our informal testing, we registered about 180 degrees for coffee coming out of the spouts, and milk was in the 145 to 155 range. A lot of variables go into measuring temperature, but compared to other machines we've tested under similar conditions, those are respectable results. Hotter than many for the coffee side and right in our recommended best flavor range for frothed milk. So we saw the bean hopper up top that comes with a spare. Also up there, a bypass doser for using pre-ground coffee and access to the 1.7 liter water tank, which can be filled at the machine or removed for filling. The front of the machine swings open for access to the internal drip tray and drag box. It's a nice design with easy front access to everything. The drag box holds the result of 20 brewing cycles, and behind that the brew group is an updated design that removes with one finger. Now we really like the ease of access to that brew group. Different than most, that can be a little finicky to reinstall, and that matters as it's a part you need to remove and rinse under tap water about once a week. The brewing chamber of the brew group is a little larger than most. That extra capacity gives you the capability to make a strong coffee or espresso if you like it that way, and to brew two coffee beverages at the same time without an extra grinding cycle. 
and register your machine with Seiko and they'll extend the one year warranty on the Brew Group out to five years. Now, no other company we're aware of is doing that and that's some pretty serious peace of mind. Mm -hmm. So overall impressions of the machine. It's a real solution for situations where you want to have espresso and milk based drinks along with the ability to quickly brew a standard single serve American style drip coffee. And the two bean hoppers make sense as you'd often be using different coffees for espresso and regular coffee. That low pressure of brewing really adds another dimension to the machine and with it you can get rid of the drip brewer or single serve capsule machine taking up space on your countertop. And bonus, using fresh ground beans is going to make a better cup anyway. Mm -hmm. Also nice, space for taller cups and most travel mugs under both the milk and coffee spouts. It makes lattes to go a snap. Now one thing this machine foregoes is a self-cleaning of the milk carafe after use. Lack of that is made up for by all carafe components being dishwasher safe. And to top it off, the Grand Baristo is one of the slimmest machines at just 8 inches wide. But do be aware it's fairly lengthy front to back at 18 and a half inches. Many comparable machines come in at about 17. The Grand Barista model HD8966 comes with a second bean hopper, cleaning and lubricating supplies, a Mavia water filter and water hardness test strip, and decalcifying solution. And it's available now at wholelatelove.com. I'm Morgan. And I'm Mark. Thanks for watching, and we hope to see you back here soon for more on Everything Coffee. Hey, why not subscribe now for easy free access to more videos on Everything Coffee brought to you by wholelatelove.com. Oh.